In this Inawara Easy Workflow video, we will look at how Inawara Easy Workflow can be utilized as part of an automated process to replace defective data in SAP with correct data. In step one of our workflow, which is fully automated, Inawara's process runner will be utilized in a three-stage process. In stage one, a process runner automation script set to run on a schedule will execute, causing the defective data from a database as well as data from a logic table to write to an Excel file. In stage two, a second set of process runner automation scripts execute and data from related tables in SAP are directly downloaded from SAP to the same Excel file, giving members of the workflow further information to help decision making. In stage three, a business rule is utilized and the defective data is automatically analyzed against the logic table data. And based on the business rule, the recommended changes to the data are written to the Excel file. In step two of our workflow, a member of the Master Data Management Group will have an opportunity to review the Excel file and compare the defective data to the recommended changes, determining which changes should be accepted, modified, or rejected. In step three, a manager from the Master Data Management Group will approve or reject the changes made in step two. If the changes are approved, the work item advances to step four. If the changes are not approved, the work item reverts back to step two. In step four, which is fully automated, a process runner automation script executes utilizing the credentials of the manager from step three, and then the data is uploaded to SAP. Before we begin our workflow, let's look at the Excel template we will be using. Highlighted in gray are the fields corresponding to the first table in our database. Our data could come from SQL, Oracle, Access, SAP, SAP HANA, or any other database. Highlighted in blue are the fields for which data will be downloaded from SAP directly to Excel. The data from the logic table in our database will write to sheet two. For this example, profit centers for certain materials need to be corrected. Column P will contain the recommended profit centers for the materials after our automation script has analyzed the data from the columns highlighted in blue and the logic table in sheet two. The fields highlighted in green will be utilized in the execution of an MM02 transaction automation script to make changes to the profit centers. Let's go to our desktop and watch as Process Runner automatically initiates our first step in the workflow. After executing step one in the workflow, Process Runner will exit out, not requiring any manual input from the user. Let's go to Excel now, and from our Process Runner Excel add-in tab, check our Inaware Easy Workflow inbox. Under MM02 Change Profit Center, we can see the assigned work item is currently at step two. If we right click with our mouse and select work item status, we can see our workflow progress showing that step two has been assigned to the master data management group. Let's close this and double click on the assigned work item. Our Excel template pops up and we can see the data which was extracted from our database as well as from SAP. If we click on the magnifying glass in the workflow action pane, we can see the instructions which state we should update the yes no column in Excel and state whether or not we want the recommended changes to be made in SAP. Let's close our instructions and select the check all box. This designates that we want changes made for each material number. We also have the option to accept the recommended profit center individually, or we could change the number to a different profit center or we could select no, in which case the profit center would not be changed at all. Let's switch back to yes and approve this work item to advance it to the next step. Going back to Excel, let's click on the Inaware Easy Workflow inbox and we can see that the workflow item has advanced to step three. 
For the sake of this demonstration, we have set up the workflow so that one user can approve each of the steps, but normally you would assign each of these steps to different users or groups. Let's double click on the work item again, and from the workflow action pane, click on the magnifying glass to review the instructions. This time we are just responsible to review the data. If we approve, there will be an automated step to post the data to SAP, or if we reject the workflow item, the workflow will go back to step two. Notice at this step, if we attempt to change the data in Excel, we receive this pop-up stating the file is protected. We are only responsible for reviewing the data in this step and cannot make any changes to Excel. If we need to, we can also review the workflow status from here. Let's click Approve and then click Next. We are prompted to select from one of our SAP logon shortcuts. This is because in Step 4, which is an automated process, an MM02 transaction automation script will execute. For the script to execute, we are required to enter our SAP logon credentials so that when the script executes, the manager SAP credentials from Step 3 will be utilized in Step 4. Let's click Approve once more, and the work item now advances to Step 4. Since Step 4 is automated, the upload to SAP occurs in the background. Let's check our email inbox to look at one of the email alerts generated by Inaware Easy Workflow. Any email system can be used to receive updates and alerts from Inaware Easy Workflow. This particular alert lets us know that our MM02 script has executed successfully. We can click on this link to view a read-only version of our Excel file. The SAP success messaging for our MM02 script has written to our Excel template. Let's click on the Show in SAP GUI link and log into SAP to view the change record of our first material. We have successfully changed the profit center from the original value of 1000 to the recommended value of 1010 as part of an automated workflow process. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.